Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to go over Niagara and projectiles in Unreal 4. So like usual, the first thing we want to do is right click, go to effects, and I'm going to create a Niagara emitter from an empty template. And then I'll give it a good naming convention, NE, and then name it whatever you want. And now right away, we want to right click and we're going to create a Niagara system. We'll rename it its name correctly, and S, and then we'll open up our emitter. So in our emitter, there's only one thing we have to do. Under emitter update, we're going to add a spawn rate, and I'm going to set that to something like 10. Now the other thing we want to make sure is, under the emitter properties, we want to make sure that local space is turned off. This will allow our particle to trail as it moves. So we'll close out of that and save it. And now we want to move on to creating our blueprint, our projectile. So I'm going to right click in the content browser and we're going to create a blueprint class from an actor. And we'll name it BP, whatever you want. And we'll open that up. Now we'll come back to the Niagara system here in one second, but I want to cover the projectile first. So to get this started, we want a sphere so we have something to visualize and we want projectile movement added as a component. Now everything in here isn't too important to talk about right now, but a few things to talk about are the projectile initial speed and max speed. I'm going to set this to 1000 and if we come down to velocity you'll see that by default in the X, there's a value of one. So it's going to move along the X axis. That's fine for now. So we're gonna compile, we'll minimize this, and we're gonna take our blueprint and drag it out into the world. We'll line it up so it can bounce on something. And then we wanna come up to play, and we'll click on this dropdown, and we'll choose simulate. And unfortunately what you'll see is Right now the projectile isn't colliding with anything. So the first thing we want to check are the objects in the world. So I'm going to select each one of these pieces and I'm going to search for collision. And what you see is collision presets, this is set to block all. So this isn't a problem. Now let's take a look at our blueprint. If we look at our sphere and we search for collision as well, you'll see that this says block all dynamic. So let's switch this to block all and we'll compile it. And let's go simulate one more time. And you'll see that it's still not colliding. Now, the fix to this is pretty simple. It turns out you don't want this default scene root in your hierarchy. So if you take this sphere, and you just drag it up, it'll override that default scene root. And we'll compile and we'll save it. And now if we go and play, you'll see that we're colliding now. Now, if you wanted this to bounce, you can come back to your BP Pong Ping, and under your projectile movement, you come up to projectile bounciness, you can turn on should bounce. And then there's a bunch of other settings under here for how you would want it to bounce. So I'll hit compile, and we'll go take a look at this. And now you can see that it's bouncing. Cool. Now, let's go and add our Niagara system. So we'll click on Add Component, and we want Niagara Particle System. And in here, under the Details panel, we want to search for the Niagara system that we created. So I'm going to add that, I'm going to click Compile, and actually I'm going to come back to the sphere. I'm going to search for Visible, and we're going to turn off the visibility. Click Compile, and now let's go play. And you see that our particle system is working. Now from here, you can go in and you can adjust your Niagara emitter, or if you want to go in and change the behavior of your projectile, you can do that too. But this is a pretty good starting point for Niagara and projectiles. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.